one in the yellow. How long to reach the maximum height? Sanjay, what do I have to do to find how long to reach the maximum height? So T, I have to find that axis of symmetry. How would we do that in this equation? So negative B divided by 2A. So please tell me the numbers that you used in number 11. Okay. Negative 36 divided by negative 32 because it was. Okay. So negative 46 divided by negative 32 gave us how much? 1.4. Can we go two decimal places maybe for time? 1.4 into 4.4. Okay. Seconds, we would put, right, to reach maximum height. Okay. So when you're thinking about these questions, answer with a sentence. 1.44 seconds to reach the maximum height. That was the second question they asked, right? But it's the first thing that we really need to solve when we are doing this. Okay? The second, the first question said, well, what's the maximum height? So Soren, if I'm trying to find that maximum height, I'm going to use that equation H, right? And you're going to have H equals what? Wait, so you got what? Negative 16 times? Oh, 1.44 squared plus 46. Yep, keep going. Plus 6. And you found that to equal? 105.12 is the maximum height, right? And I would probably be okay here with just 105 feet would be nice, right? But then it says, how long does it take to hit the ground? And this is what I want you to picture. You hit the ball, okay? So you hit the ball, and it's going up. And then over here is your ground where it hits, right? So this is your maximum height at 1.44 seconds and 105 feet. So 105 feet is right. Is it right? No, I don't know. Oh, check it. It's very nice. Wow, that is a really high ball that we hit. You had how many? 39.04. 39. That makes that make sense. I was going to say 105. That's a that's really hitting that ball up high, right? Yeah, that's like way more velocity. It probably means way more. Velocity. So, we want to change this to our 39 feet, okay? Okay, so we're this baseball player and we've hit it up to 39 feet at 1.44 seconds. This is our axis of symmetry, right? So, how many, so halfway, right? This is the halfway point, 1.44 seconds. So, how many seconds to hit the ground? What do you think you want to do with this time? Double it. Or it's about 2.88 or 2.8 seconds. So when you're answering this question, how long? If you know where the vertex is, right, it should be really close to that. And in this case, I would say 2.8 seconds, 2.88 seconds, something along that. And what could you do now? You can plug that 2.8 into the equation, just like we plugged in 1.44 here, and it should come out really close to zero, okay? If I use 2.8 or 2.88 or 2.9 seconds, or I use 3 seconds, it should be really close to getting to zero, okay? So that's how you want to look at that. All right, so today you have, if you do have other questions, I didn't hear that anyone did on this assignment, but if you do, make sure you're checking with me. So the marble slide, key thing, vertex form, A affects the width and the direction. When you look at the vertex, it is always the x minus h. So this is always like the opposite of whatever. When you have minus h, it's always the opposite. So if it's a plus h, then this is going to be a negative number here. So you just got to be careful for that. And most of you, I think, were figuring that out as you looked at it. And a lot of your responses were pretty good, pretty good on how you responded. Some of you went way more in depth like explaining what the negative did, that it flipped it over, and you can see everyone, like some of the other people's responses when they're looking at it. 
Um, so this worksheet is what I'd like you to take a look at that's going to be due. Um, some of these are nice, simple ones. Um, when you look at the problem, like when you look at this first one, can you tell in number one where the root deck is? Yeah, right away, right? So you can tell me this ordered pair. So the vertex should be an ordered pair. The axis of symmetry should be x equal, right? Answering each of those questions. Hopefully this is going to make this assignment that you're doing with the card, but as you go through after you've done the cards, so make it hopefully understanding this parabola stuff a little bit. Then it says give three examples of quadratic equations. I want one to be a monomial, one to be a binomial, one to be a trinomial. Now it says equation. That means you can't just put the expression. That means you either have to have y equals or f of x equals, right? I don't care if you put y equals or if you use f of x equals, I don't care. But an equation has an equal sign. It is not just like x squared. If you only put the x squared, that's an expression, right? So just making sure vocabulary is clear. So here's the key thing that you are working on today in class. These cards. And you can work with a partner on them. But I want you to look at the first card. And on that first card, so I want everyone to set that worksheet aside. And on the first card, on all of yours, I have on each card, I have vertex, and then I have direction. So you cut your cards apart. Tell me, if you look at the equation for y equals x squared, where should the vertex be? At what point do you want to actually put the order pair? Should be at 0, 0. So vertex on this first one. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this equation. Okay? That's right on the card. So write that on the card. Vertex is 0, 0. What is our direction? Is that equation going up or down? Up. up. So I would now like for you to find the equation that has a vertex of 0, 0 and goes up. Which card would you find? Yep, find the graph of 0, 0. Okay. And what's the equation on the bottom of that graph? Okay, so what you're going to do is I have tape, two tape dispensers up here, and I have do not tape until you have all your cards put together. Okay, So you're going to have this big strip, and I'll show you mine in just a minute of what it looks like. It's going to be this big strip taped together. So now you are looking at this card. And on this card, the information says, what's the vertex and direction again? So, when I'm looking at the vertex of y equals negative x squared, it is still at what point? Zero, zero. zero, zero. And my direction this time, and so you're going to put these cards in order, and I'll show you. So that's what I want you to be working on first before you work on that other first worksheet. Okay? But direction... And the direction was what on this one? So for this equation? Upwards. Negative x squared? Oh, yeah. the, I thought you were talking Should about be that. down, right? And what is the solution? So for this one, the solution is always on the x-axis. This one only has one solution. Our solution to this quadratic is 0, 0. Versus, I want you to find, um, let's look at this card that has negative x squared plus 5. Find the card that says negative x squared plus 5. And up on the top here it says what were the solutions, and we're talking about the solutions to this graph, by the way. Okay. So this information on the bottom is telling you the vertex and direction of this equation, right? This is the solution here. The solution is right at this point. Which would be where? Negative, where is that one? Is it negative 3 or negative 4? Negative 3, 0. And the other point is over here at 1, 0. Those are called our books or our solutions. We're going to be getting into those later, okay? But I ask you to put that on each card also, okay? So you can work with a buddy. I can move around the room. I do not want groups larger than three, two to three, three at the max. So if you want to move to work with someone to organize these cards, you can do that. And I will answer your questions as you're doing them.
if you want.